Another thing that I said, I told, I told motherfuckers, I said, I'm going to retire by the time I'm 28. I started saying that shit in 2015. Motherfuckers like, okay. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. Okay, I believe you. Now, it's, how the fuck did you do that shit? <laughs> Magic, nigga. <laughs> I said it. I said it. I spoke it. And I knew that the shit was going to happen. I was going to do this shit. You feel what I'm saying? You speak. And it happens. You don't talk. See that? And that's, that's a problem. Like, you know, I've had relationships fuck up. I've had relationships fuck up because they were used to motherfuckers talking. And weren't used to motherfuckers speaking. You dig what I'm saying? So I was like, yeah, I'm going to do X, Y, and Z. Okay, well, I'm going to hold you to it. I'm going to see what you're going to do. I was like, yo, I'm not going to do X, Y, and Z. I'm not going to be like, when I say something, I speak the shit. And I speak the reality of the shit. I don't, I don't, I don't do this shit for play, play, my nigga. This is why, I don't, this is why I'm quiet now. This is why I'm quiet now with most motherfuckers. Like, but when I speak to you, I know how to, to speak to where it's like, okay, yeah, we, gonna, we can be this. Like, you feel me? Now, I met one woman and I told her, I said, yeah, I conjured you up. She was like, what you mean? Like, it's funny as shit, though, because, like, I had seen this, I had seen this fucking meme on, uh, on Instagram and shit. And it was like, you know, when women shoot, they shot, they try to use telekinesis and shit. I had, like, some cartoon superhero, she had a hand like that. And it was resonating beams out. And it was just like, yo, it was funny as fuck because it's like, yo, you can really do that shit. <laughs> you can really do that shit. But it's like, it's not on no, no, like, no scary type shit or anything like that. But it's just based off of intention and the action that you speak. You feel what I'm saying? You constantly, in your mind, you can constantly visualize this person and say, hey, I want to communicate with this person. Or I want to do this. I want to say this to this person. Or I want this person to say something to me. But you got to be open for when the moment happens, you got to, you know, do it. You know what I'm saying? Go for it. Set the opportunity up. You feel what I'm saying? So, that's it. Like I told her, I said I conjured you up. How did you do that? I don't know. I'm not gonna tell you how I did this shit because then you motherfuckers freak out. You know what I mean? Because it's like, yo, for real? It's like, yeah, but I conjured it up. In my head, I said, you know, I wanna speak there. I wanna have a conversation with her. You know what I'm saying? I said, I'm going to have a conversation with you. And I said, it's gonna start off. I said, I want our conversation to start off on the common ground. So, I made a post about. I had made a post about. Um, Cookout, the restaurant, and it was like after the club, we uh, we be asking, no, who gonna go? We be going to cookout or Waffle House? That's what it was. And then like the one of the things was like in the the state that I was in, and so she was like, "Oh, you from this state? Gotcha. The conjuring works. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying?" But so it was like, "Yeah, yeah, I'm from such and such." And then next thing I know, you know, more conversations were being made. Then, you know, got a number and shit. Like you know, I just, and then we talked more, and then it's like ultimately it ended, but. You know what I'm saying? It's not like you can really do this shit. Like, yo, it's like you just can't be scared of the shit and you gotta have your under power, but you have to understand words. You have to understand words. You have to understand intention. You have to understand all of this energy and the desire to make this shit happen. Because it does happen when you speak it. And you cannot go back and forth with the shit. You feel me? You can't be you you can't be like indecisive. You can't say, hey, I want this to happen. But I don't want this to happen. I'm like, yo, fuck it. The moment you say it, stop thinking about it and go for what you know. Like, dead ass. Like, that's how it has to be. You stop thinking about it and go for what you know. Simple. Because if you don't, you feel me? You can create chaos for yourself. Like, literally. You create chaos. You know? If you want, if you say, okay, I'm going to do this. That's it. Leave it at that. But then if you say, I'm going to do this, but... I'm going to do it with this, but within this time, and then this, this, then this. The universe is going to sit back and say, all right, when you stop talking, I'll give it to you. And then when you stop talking, all of that shit comes at one time. So now you're looking like, I didn't ask for all Yes, the fuck you did. Yes, you did. Because the universe doesn't respond to what you want or don't want. It responds to what you speak about the most. You feel what I'm saying? It responds to what you speak about the most. If you want that new job, if you want that shit, talk about it. Talk about it. Talk about it with people who can help you manifest the shit. That's another thing to words. Words magnify. In the in in the book, it says, you know, where two or three come to my name, I will be there. Right? When you start to speak with people who are in line with the shit that you talk about, shit happens. You know, I became a better entrepreneur when I started talking to entrepreneurs. Every day. We hit each other, yo, what plans you got? What books you reading? This, this, and this. And we, pshoom, shit happens. You feel me? When I wanted a promotion at work, I started talking to the people who had been promoted. You feel me? Boom, boom. What I got to do? What I got to do? What I got to do? Pshoom, several promotions in a year. Like, you got to 
speak the shit to make make it manifest. Like, you know what I mean? You can't just talk. It's not talking. You feel me?